Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing swatches with you from the OPI Iceland collection. I know this has been done on YouTube now a hundred times, um, but I figured I would go ahead and share my swatches as well. This collection was sent to me from HPB Bar. Um, I will link them in the description box below. I will also put my Instagram page where I will have more swatches of these polishes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first polish is called Aurora Borealis, and this is a dusty rose pink uh, color. It is a cream polish. So here's our first coat of Aurora Borealis. This goes on really, really smooth. This has an amazing formula. It's easy to use, easy to work with, doesn't want to run or pull or anything like that. It's also very opaque here on this first coat where after a couple uses I'm sure one coat will suffice but I am going to go ahead and show you two. So here's the second coat of Aurora Borealis and this one does cover completely in two coats. I also had no staining with this. It dries very fast and it dries very glossy just like OPI kind of has a standard cream formula and this is it. So there is two coats. Up next we have Reykjavik has all the hot spots and this is a pinky rose metallic polish. Um, this one I don't I don't understand some of them are in you know this format and then some are in the typical format. I'm not really sure what the disconnect is there but some of them are and some of them aren't. So here's our first coat of Reykjavik has all the hot spots. This one is very sheer here on this first coat. It also has um, a much thinner formula than the previous polish did, where if you did too thick of a coat, it will probably want to run and pull into your cuticle area, so you do have to be cautious about that. This one also applied a little bit brush strokey, but those do go away as it dries. So here is the second coat, and for me this one does cover completely in two coats, but depending on your application you may end up wanting three coats. I do have a couple of spots here that could have used a third coat, but for my swatch photos I did two. So for the video I wanted to do two as well to stay consistent. So there is two coats. Next up we have This Isn't Greenland, and this is a nice light dusty green cream. Here's our first coat of This Isn't Greenland. This one has that same standard OPI cream formula where it's just easy to use, easy to work with, doesn't run or pull, not too thick, not too thin, just very OPI consistent. It covers okay here on the first coat. Um, I can still see my nail line, so I'm going to go in for a second. So here is the second coat of This Isn't Greenland, and this one does cover for me completely in two coats. Depending on your application, though, you may end up wanting three coats for this one. And just like Aurora Borealis, this one dries very fast and very glossy. So there is two coats. Up next we have Check Out the Old Geysers, and this is a nice light baby blue. It does have a strong, it, it's strong in the bottle, it's a blue shimmer, um, but it really doesn't show up too much on the nail, so it's there in the bottle, it's not on the nail. So here's our first coat of Check Out the Old Geysers. This one covers pretty well in the first coat for being such a light color. Um, it's still a little bit patchy and I can still see my nail line, so I am going to go in for a second coat, but this formula is really nice too. It's easy to work with. The only thing that I don't like is that you can't really make out that shimmer on your nails. So here is the second coat, and this one does cover completely in two coats. Again, very easy to use. This one also dries fast and glossy. And I sound like a broken record, but they're all pretty consistent. So there's two coats. 
next up we have Turn On The Northern Lights, and this is a darker blue. It's um, got a shifting shimmer that goes from like a pinky to a gold to a green on the outer edges. I know you won't be able to see it on camera. Sorry. So here's our first coat of Turn On The Northern Lights. This one actually had a little bit of a thinner formula. It's one of those where it feels like it could run down the side of your nails and flood into your cuticles if you're not careful. It does go on pretty evenly, but it is a little bit sheer here on this first coat, so I am going to go in for a second. So here is the second coat of Turn On The Northern Lights. This one does cover completely in two coats for me, and the shimmer in here stands out really well against the base. I also wanted to know I didn't have any staining. This one dries glossy just like everything else in this collection. So there's two coats. Up next we have Less is Norse, and this is a nice dusty cobalt blue. So here's our first coat of Less is Norse. This one's a little bit patchy here on the first coat, so again, I am going to go in for a second coat. This one does have a really nice formula, though. It is easy to use. It is a little bit on the thinner side as far as OPI's creams go, but that could just be me. I could just be making that up entirely. So here's the second coat of Less is Norse. This one does cover for me completely in two coats. I also wanted to note that with this color I had no staining. It does dry fast, it does dry glossy. So there is two coats. Next up we have one heck of a color and this is a dusty lavender purple. Um, it does lean a little bit pink but it is Definitely a lavender-y color. Here's our first coat of one heck of a color. And for being such a light color, this one covers really, really well here on this first coat. It also has a nice formula. It's the standard OPI cream, not too thick, not too thin. It doesn't want to run or pull or anything like that. So here is the second coat, and this one does cover completely for me in two coats. You may end up needing three coats for this one. I don't think it would be an issue to do two coats, but depending on your application, I just wanted to throw that out there, that it is such a light color, you may end up needing three coats for this. This also dries fast, dries glossy. So there's two coats. Up next we have Susie and the Arctic Fox and this is a dusty dark purpley grayed out cream. So here's our first coat of Susie and the Arctic Fox. This one is also just a little bit patchy here on this first coat um, but it does cover really really well as far as opacity goes. And if you did a thick enough coat, you may be able to get away with one coat, maybe not. It is pretty streaky. But it's very easy to use, not too thick, not too thin. So here is our second coat of Susie and the Arctic Fox. And this one does cover completely in two coats. For being such a dark polish and so opaque, I just want to note I didn't have any staining. This one also dries fast and glossy. So there's two coats. Next up we have I'll have a Gin and Tectonic and this is a light peachy nude polish with pink undertones. It is a cream. So here's the first coat of I'll have a Gin and Tectonic. This one covers okay for being such a light color as well. I can still make out my nail line and it is a little bit streaky so I am going to go in of course for a second coat. This one has a good formula. It's a little bit on the thinner side as far as OPI's creams go but it's not difficult to work with. 
So here is the second coat. And this one does cover completely in two coats for me. This one also you have to give a second to let it self level by itself um, to make it cover completely, but I can see needing three coats here. So there's two coats. Next up we have I slanded a bottle of OPI and this is a nice putty color cream polish. Here's our first coat of I slanded a bottle of OPI. This one has a good formula. It's easy to use. I can still make out my nail line, but it's not as patchy as the previous polishes have been. This one also self-levels really, really nicely. Here is our second coat of Ice Landed a Bottle of OPI, and this one does cover completely in two coats for me. You may want three coats for this. Um, I'm I don't see it being like a thing where you need three, but I just wanted to throw it out there. It is a lighter color, so you may end up needing three coats here. So there is two coats. Up next we have That's What Friends Are Thor, and this is a brown cream. Here's our first coat of That's What Friends Are Thor. This is a little bit patchy here on this first coat, but it does cover pretty nicely overall. The finished manicure looks like just milk chocolate on your nails, and I am completely digging that right now. This has a standard OPI cream formula, not too thick, not too thin, doesn't want to run, doesn't want to pull, all that great stuff. So here is our second coat, and this one does cover completely in two coats for me. This also dries very fast, very glossy. I didn't use top coat in any of my swatch photos, so as the swatch photos are coming in, that is how these dried for me. So there's two coats. And lastly, we have Chronological Order, and this is another brown cream polish. This one does have more gray undertones than the previous one did. And here is a little side-by-side -side comparison. Um, Here's Chronological Order and then Friends are Thor, so you can just see this one has a little bit more purple, this one has a little bit more gray. And here is our first coat of Chronological Order. This one is very similar in formula and finish and streakiness and everything as the previous polish. Um, they are pretty much identical, just a little bit different in color. Standard OPI formula for a cream, not too thick, not too thin, dries fast, dries glossy. So here is the second coat, and this one does cover completely in two coats. Again, I didn't have any staining here. I didn't have any staining with any of the polishes in this collection. So there's two coats. So my favorite from this collection is Aurora Borealis, the one I am wearing right now for day three. Um, it's beautiful. It's just such a gorgeous color to me. Um, but I also wanted to give a shout out to Turn On The Northern Lights. I know this was a super popular, or this is a super popular one amongst uh, everybody. So this one is actually worth the hype. It is really, really beautiful and it's beautiful on the nails and it does stand out. I actually wore this one for a few days, which is impeccable for me to wear a blue for more than a swatch photo or a day or so. Um, I did keep this on until it chipped off of a whole nail. So that was kind of impressive to me and it's a sign that I definitely liked the polish. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up or if you've already picked them up. Let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time. Bye.